Got me a chimney of uh, charcoal going here. We're gonna use that as a base for our coals to get started. And uh, after we get this, we'll dump this in the firebox and that'll be all the charcoal we'll add all day. The rest of it will be just logs. But it's gonna be a beautiful day. Here the birds chirping. Sun's coming up. Let's get that brisket put on and get a cup of coffee. It's gonna be a beautiful day, y'all. Mike Baker here, Baker's Barbecue. Hey, today we got the old big boy fired up, my, my offset stick burner. I got some hickory in the firebox. I got about a 10 pound brisket all trimmed up. We're gonna get that brisket on here today. We're gonna let it smoke till it reaches about 203, 205 in the center. Probe tender. I got it shook down with some Baker's Barbecue Champions blend, new rub I just come out with. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. Hope you fire your smokers up, cook right along with me. Let's get to smoking. If you're new to the channel, if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that notifications bell, so you'll be notified of all future videos. If you're not new to the channel and you're back watching another video with me, hey, I really appreciate you supporting Baker's Barbecue and supporting my channel. All right, so we're going to get this brisket all trimmed up and uh, get it ready to go on the smoker, get it seasoned up. I'm using some Baker's Barbecue Champions Blend seasoning today. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, mustard as my binder. All right, so we're going to speed things up here. down in there oh yeah. all right give me a nice log nice good log to start it's gonna be the good base on it all right, I'm gonna go ahead and slide my ambient probe up in there like start monitoring my temperature so that bad boy right there All right, so I'm going to kick on this little fan. We'll try it out. The uh, logs are kind of smoldering a little bit, so I'm just going to kick this. All I got to do is just plug it in right here, and then go over here and just kick this little switch on. All right, that's all there is to it. Got the fan going. As you can see, it's nice and quiet. Anyway, it's throwing a little bit. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, this is, of course, this is a hodgepodge smoker. Great smoker, propane paint, uh, propane tank smoker. But when they built this thing like 30 years ago, it's got a little fan you saw me kick on, and it has a little tube that goes into the side of the firebox right here. And it works out perfect like this. I mean, I'll bring this over and show it to you. Got me a good fire going. So what I'm going to do is just let that stoke these logs up just a little bit. One of the things I love about that little fan is it really helps to clean the smoke up quick. I mean, it'll take a, a either a, a log that's not quite seasoned right yet or one that's cold like this putting it in the firebox. And I mean, it it helps to kick it up real quick and clean the smoke out and get that thing up and flaming. All right, so we're going to get this brisket on here. Nice, beautiful brisket. All right, so I got my point facing the fire, got my flat away from it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my probes put in here real quick. Go in there to the point. Get into the flat. We're gonna shut this back down, let it come on up back up to temperature. And uh, let it smoke out, it's gonna be probably Quite a few hours before I check it. I like to wait to let that bark form real good, but we'll be back here in a few hours. We'll check on it, see how the bark's doing, and decide if we need to start spritzing. Fire's been doing pretty good throughout this morning. Uh, I've added, been adding logs, probably about every 30 to 40 minutes, adding one to two logs, depending on the size of them. So we went and throw another one in here. I actually want to put this up here on the firebox. Check to see how it's looking. Need to move these coals around just a little bit. And this is a nice looking fire. 
I love these offset. Cooking on an offset, it's absolutely perfect. Especially if you love playing with fire, you definitely love this. Get that down in there. Let that sit there and catch a hold. While that's doing it, I'm gonna go ahead and grab me another log to throw up here on the firebox. Let those sit there and get warm just like that. And uh, we'll just keep on, keep on monitoring it throughout. It's looking good. I uh, hadn't checked the brisket yet. We're about three hours into it. So probably gonna wait another 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and we'll come back and we'll check it. Uh, I don't like to check them a whole lot. More, you know, when you're opening up the smoker, you know, like they say, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. That's the truth. So, so anyway, I'm going to wait till probably another 30 minutes, an hour, and we'll check it for the first time and see how the bark's doing and see if we need to throw a little spritz to it. Beautiful smoke. Look at that. Just as clean as it can be. I almost can't see it coming out of the stack. There you go. Beautiful smoke. All right, so it's time for me to add another log. And uh, we're about four hours into it, so I'm actually going to check. My temperature's come up to about 158 to 160. So we're going to check for the first time and see how the bark's looking. that fire going there so i'm gonna go ahead and bring you over here we're gonna check the bark real quick where this uh, other log is getting stoked up let's open up here and see how the bark is looking on it oh yeah that's looking great i'll bring you guys in here for a shot in just a second i'm gonna go ahead and spritz it i can already tell the bark's all set yeah there's nothing coming off yeah it's looking really really good so i got on my spritz bottle here got a little apple cider vinegar a little bit of water and i was out of apple juice so i've actually got just a little bit of a little bit of orange juice in there all right so i'm going to bring it here a little bit closer let you look a look at it all right there you go hopefully you guys can see that getting a good bark there on it looking really good got us some beef tallow over here rendering out all right, so we're going to get this bad boy shut back down and let it keep on going. All right, so it's been a couple hours since I last looked at it. Oh, yeah, looking real good. I need to get a little more spritz there on that for sure. Looking real good. It's getting nice, nice bark there on it for sure. Temperature sitting at about 162. So we're going to go ahead and shut her back down, sitting at about 162, and uh, we're going to let it come on just a little bit more, get out of the stall, and then we're going to wrap her up. All right, so our temperatures come up on these briskets to about 172. Uh, actually, I'll take it back. It's up there around 175 to 180. I think the point's at 175. The, the flat is at 180. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour out some beef tallow here that I had rendering. I'm going to butcher paper, and I'm going to get this brisket over here. I'm going to get it wrapped up in butcher paper, get the probes back in it, and we'll get it back on the get it back on the uh, on the smoker. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take my beef tallow. I'm going to put a good generous portion out. It's going to be below the brisket. So the brisket's going to be sitting at. I'm going to reserve some of that. I need to pour some around the brisket when I get it over here. That is a beautiful, and that's a beautiful brisket. Look at that. Oh, you probably can't see it from there, but it's absolutely beautiful. Get that set down right there on top of the tallow. And then from here, I'm just going to pour a little bit more tallow around the edge of the brisket here, especially around this flat 
where it tends to kind of dry out some. This tallow will be really good later as well whenever it's resting. It'll really help with uh, keeping everything nice and nice and moist. All right, so we're just going to come up over. Just come up over just like that. We want it back in the same position it's in. So I like to go ahead and go one more turn. Pulling it good and tight. Go ahead and fold in your sides. All right, so I'm just going to take it up. Cut back over again. Make sure it's real good and tight. Now I'll just fold this here back. And just fold it right back up under. Just like that right there. The probe's back in here. Got it back in the smoker. We're running about, uh, you can't see it there, 230, 180, and 169 internal. Temperature right now is just coming back up. So we're going to shut her down, let her go on and finish out till we get to the 205 range. All right, so I know it's hard to believe, but in seven hours, this brisket's done. I mean, it's done five hours before I even expect it to be done. Sometimes that this happens. So it's reached 205 in the center on the, both the point and the flat. So I'm going to take it off now, and I'm going to let it rest for probably five or six hours. Oh, yeah. That joker is looking good. Smelling good. So like I said, hard to believe, seven hours, it was a nine and a half pound brisket trimmed down probably to eight and a half. So, you know, I was, I was thinking 10 to 12 hours. Uh, my average temperature ran somewhere around 265 to 275. Uh, so sometimes they just get done quicker than you expect. So like I said, I'm going to take it in, let it rest for a few hours and we'll See how we did later on this evening. We take it out and cut into it. Check that brisket out. Tell me that don't look good. Juicy. Seasoned up in some Baker's Barbecue Champions Blend. Man, check that out. All right there, my fellow barbecue enthusiasts. Got the brisket all done. Like I told you earlier, I was absolutely amazed. It only took seven hours on this brisket. It was nine and a half pounds before I trimmed it, probably eight and a half pounds after, and it took like seven hours. That's amazing. Uh, turned out juicy. I mean, there's so much juice on this table as you saw just a second ago. Uh, it's phenomenal. So uh, got a good smoke ring. Looks delicious. Got a good bark to it. So I'm going to bring you in here, and we're going to get us. Uh, we're going to get a bite of this. All right, I'm going to go in here and grab me a piece. Grab me one out of the center of this. Look at that. Tell me that don't look good right there. Nice, juicy piece of brisket. Do a little pull test on it. Comes right apart. Let's cut us off a little bite of this thing. Get a little bit of that au jus on there. It's on the board. Oh, man. I got you. That's delicious. Absolutely delicious. New Champions Blend. It's doing its thing on this brisket. Let me tell you what. Tastes absolutely wonderful. So let's do a little bit of recap. So we put it on. Uh, put it over hickory, put it on the offset stick burner, cooked it about 265, 275 on average. It took about uh, seven hours to get done. I shook it down, some Baker's Barbecue Champions Blend, and it turned out phenomenal. So I definitely recommend you guys take your offset, cook you a nice brisket out there. Make sure when you wrap it up in the, uh, in the butch paper, you put a little bit of beef tallow on there. Make sure you render down some beef tallow, and you'll definitely love it. So I definitely appreciate you guys joining me today. If you enjoy the video, if you would, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell for notifications for all future videos coming out. If you're not new to the channel and you're coming back, 
once again, thank you for coming back and uh, watching Baker's Barbecue. I really do appreciate that. Until the next time I see you, happy smoking.